Hello, hello, my name is Sharp Eyes, and this is... Okay, well, uh, he's actually not here right now, he's actually... I'm dropping a deuce in the bathroom, but, um... That should be Orca over there. Alright, let's get this started. It looks like we will be playing on Belshir Vestige in a Platinum Tournament match for Hartland Hitman's Mayflowers Tournament. Alright, I am excited. Uh, let's see, let's go to the screen over here. Alright. It is looking like the uh, pink Zerg is spawning as the pink Zerg over here with um, the green Terran is spawning on the bottom right. And um, just in case you guys um, didn't catch it, it was um, Sony versus Unstable. Now, um, this looks like a ZVT matchup right here um, on this map. I'm actually not too too familiar with this map since I've only played on it about 20 times. But um, this uh, this map is actually really good for the Terran player as he can actually wall off his uh, natural pretty easily right here. And um, and um, he also does have this ledge over here. Which um, he can position units and uh, such, such as tanks and various other units that the Terran has. All right, looking back at the Zerg player over here, we see that um, he is opting for a pretty standard play with some uh, drones sending out his Overlord to scout over here. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty standard play here coming from the pink Zerg player. Looking back over here at the Terran, we see that he has built a barracks. Um, yeah, he's uh, pretty much building a barracks. Um, and it, uh, it actually doesn't look like a pool will be going down any, anytime soon as um, he has opened a patch first. Now, what, what, what that means on this map is that um, he's going to take advantage of the uh, the, the, the passiveness um, of the uh, Terran player here um, because the Terran player is actually just hang hanging out right here. He's, he's really not doing much. I mean, no no Reaper play, n nothing to be afraid of. He's just pretty much going hat hatch first. Alright, um, over here looks like a, a pool will be going down after that, I guess. Um, yeah, it looks looks pretty standard. Over here, it actually does look like this Overlord will get taken out by this Marine. Um, one important thing to note, the Overlord actually does see this Command Center going up. If I were the Zerg player, I'd probably get another base right now. Overlord will be going down. Um, another barracks going up by the Terran player here. We actually don't see gas at all right now, which indicates that he is going to be joining up this um, um, expo pretty nicely. Back to the Zerg player here. Um, we uh, hear crickets chirping in the background somewhere. Uh, Zerg Zerglings will be coming out. Just a pair. Oh, two pairs of zerglings here coming to possibly check out this area over here. I'm quite quite curious that there is no bunker right here. So if the if the zerg player actually does um, go for a nice ling attack right now, the zerg could be in trouble. Um, orc says yo. Looks What's like up? looks like orc is back. Orc, how was the deuce? <laughs> well, if you want to talk about it, man, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it indeed, as he deuced in the restroom. Yes, I did. Yep. All right. So, or um, <laughs> just in case you missed it, um, looks like the the Zerg player is on two base right here. Um, went for a typical hatch first into pool build. Hey, hey, real quick, is this a, a plat game in the tournament? Yes, or? this okay. is a, this is a plat game. Okay. Alright, and, and yeah, so basically, hatch first for the Zerg and 
A1 Rex, fast expand for the Terran. Orc, your thoughts? Um, it was fast hatch for the Zerg, you said, right? Uh, yep. Uh, well, uh, no, um, it was a hatch first. Hatch first, okay. Um, well, that's pretty standard with the Zerg. Um, right now the Zerg should be getting three bases, though, from what I'm seeing. Um, uh, and Terran's getting a stim. I don't really know what he's going for with his factory. Could be Hellbats, could be drops with his bio. Um, he's macroing fairly well for the leak he's in because he's got two reactors already. Um, he's got a bunker defending the front of his base. That's pretty good. There are a lot of links on the way, though. Um, it, um, so, it, yeah. it, it actually does look like a early timing attack here by the Zerg player, opting to, um, instead of fully saturating his, his expo, to actually um, play a bit aggressively here. Um, or there, there, there are 23 links on the field. So. That is a lot of links. Um, looking like the, these roaches here will try to take on this bunker. Links are bunker flooding dies, in. He loses the game. Looks like the bunker. Oh, it's getting repaired. It's getting repaired. Will it go down? Will it go down? And it looks like it will not go down. What and what a close repair here by the Terran player. Um, these Marines will be pushing back the roaches. Orc. That was a very good defense from the Terran. Um, yeah, that was a that was a huge attack from the Zerg player. Um, all those drones that he could have been making that whole time. Um, yeah, while he was making those roaches and lings. That was a that was a big big investment for Pink. A very big um, indeed. Um, yeah. Do you think that the the uh, Terran player is actually in the lead right now uh, economically? Oh, yeah, yeah, by by supply and yeah, he's way ahead now. I mean, he's got a reactor coming uh, and an armory, so that means he's going to be doing Hellbat drops. He might do some bio drops as well. He's getting his plus one going. Stim is already done. It just completed, I believe. Um, he's probably going to get combat shield as soon as he gets around to it. Um, he's basically saturated on two bases, except he has one gas not mining. He's supply blocked, but he's got two depots going, which is right now is what you want to do. Uh, the Zerg, he just has he's both of his Evo chambers for either Roach Hydra or Ling upgrades, and, and Ultralis upgrades are not even done yet. They're just about to finish. That's, um, that's pretty crucial. Um, and he's halfway to Tier 2, um, and it's basically 10 minutes into the game, which isn't the latest timing, but... That's not where you want to be, and his third is isn't even up yet. So, the Zerg is he can still win the game, but he's in a pretty bad spot at the moment. So it, um, it actually did look like that early, early attack did set the Zerg um, pretty far behind, but um, as Orc said, not all hope is lost. No, and with the way I predict games, um, with players I don't know, probably the Zerg will come back and win. Um, that's pretty standard for what I usually predict, but uh, <laughs> let's see what else is going on here. So we got two medevacs coming out. It looks like he will be playing bio. Um, where did his factory go? Okay, so he's scouting with his factory, which you don't want to do in this matchup, but uh, I mean, hey, at least it's intel. That's good. <laughs> but it looks like he's probably just going to play marine marauder medevac, which is actually a pretty solid strategy in itself if you can handle all the multitasking. Plus one is almost done for him. He's got a second engineering bay on the way he's not getting supply blocked which is really good I'd really like to see him get a third but considering these guys are both in plat um, he's macroing pretty well um, he's up 22 food right now compared to the zerg um, let's check and see on the zerg and see what he's doing so he he stopped making drones before to make to do a big attack that filled and really didn't do any damage at all for the most part and he's building a spore and a spine at every base, which is six drones that are not mining or getting gas or something of that sort. He just started his baneling nest, which is really late. I don't see, yeah, um, just pinks. I don't know. He's not on top of his, not not on top of the ball. I guess you could say this game. Uh, it actually looks like the uh, Terran army is moving out. Will we see s some drops here? Only time will tell. Um, looks like. The Terran, the uh, Zerg player actually is floating a lot of minerals right now. What ki what units could could the Zerg be making right now that could counter this small army? Um. Well, let's see. We got two medevacs and a pretty reasonable bio force moving out. Um. We have 47 lings on the field, but I, th yes, 40, 47 lings will die. Looking like that that queen will get taken out very quickly. Lings are a ambushing. Um. We'll get this round. Um. Uh, kind of. Looking like that this army um has taken out all the lings. 
This is a good game already. It's done. Even though he just had 1-1 complete, it's over, I think. Looking like with the drone... Nah, drone pull? Nope. Um, looks like there will be long distance mining. Lings will be running around um, ever which way. Uh, uh, it actually looks like the Zerg is trying to build up um, a, a big enough force here to take on these uh, marines here. That is true, but he just killed the natural and he's he made him lose a lot of production, but he will probably kill his bio force unless he picks up. Uh, it actually looks like a very uh, a very good tactic here by, by, by the green player opting to fight on the ramp and then picking up his army just as the banelings arrive. Um, I don't want to sound very anti-pink like I have been probably this most game from what I've been saying my opinions, but um... Oh, it looks green. like that, that medevac full of marines just got taken out. Oh my god. I was gonna say, green is pretty much doing everything right since he started that attack up until now, but losing those two medevacs was a really bad idea. He was busy macroing for sure. That was pretty crazy. Um, but look at what he's macroed up at home. Like, he got six medevacs, 1-1 one, one, um, versus the Zerg's 1-1, one, one, Marine Marauder. Yeah, I mean, and he's adding on more barracks. Does he have 2-2 two, two on the way? He's got 2-2 two, two on the way. Um, I mean, Pink's got a Spire going, but he's only on two bases now. He's going to go for four, but this attacker right here should kill Pink. This upcoming, this next engagement. Yeah. It is looking like Pink's army and Green's army are headed towards this same direction here. Um, Zerglings will be hanging out right here. Marines are swimming in. Oh, it looks like those Zerglings will be roasted and toasted. Tasty. <laughs> Nothing beats a nice roasted Zergling. So, he he lost... The Pink was on, on three bases. He lost his natural, so he was then on two bases. And now he's trying to get up to five bases. And he's down by more than 50 food. So this is, like not the worst thing you could be doing in Pink's position, but it's not the best either. Absolutely not. Not the, the best position here for Pink, but um, it does look like he does have some Banelings over here. Could, gonna get sniped again. could these Banelings be enough? Uh, looks like the natural will be going down. Banelings uh, exploding prematurely possibly. Uh, it looks like a lot of Banelings are being morphed. Um, will his... Main go down. Oh, bailing and his bailing speed will will not be done as the bailing bailing nest gets sniped. Bailing's moving in. Looks like they will get taken out premature a little bit. But oh, um, very awkward battle right there. Um, looks like both players have lost their armies. Or who who is um in in the better position right now? Oh, definitely green. Definitely green. He's going to be on four bases versus the Zergs. Um basically one base uh he still hasn't pink isn't upgrading at all i mean he let he didn't split that well which is why the game is still going on and why uh pink was able to kill as much as he did with his banelings but i mean look he's even macroing up more green has really good macro for being in plot really really good macro looks two like he's done three two is on the way he'll probably start three three i mean this uh, i don't see any you know, positive stuff coming out of pink except this the snipe of the fourth right here. Looking like the command center will be lift, lifting off. Um, looks like a ling run by, but uh, quickly dispatched by these marines. Um, it actually looks like green green could be um, um, just about to win the game right now. I mean, uh, it doesn't look like pink really has much um, except drones at this point yeah i mean earlier he he got both evolution chambers which means he had to build them oh there's Muta's attack oh right looks now. looks like mutas are taking out a tech lab um very interesting play here but will will these mutas do enough damage to warrant their purchase not even close his fourth goes down i guess you can call it even though it's kind of his fifth um and everything else is soon to follow very See, I, I mean, uh, just, there we go. Because Pink was loading, floating a lot of money, um, and now he's making a lot of lings, but versus this bio army, which is 2-2 two, two versus his 1-1, one, one, and he has medevacs, like, yeah, good luck, have fun. And he he is not building a bailing nest, um, actually, I don't think. So, okay. it, so, it, so it'll just be lings versus this uh, marine marauder cluster here. 
game's done. I mean, I've, I've called last battle tons of times, but yeah, 2-2 two -two with Medivac versus just wings that are 1-1. One -one. Yeah, uh, it's not gonna work out. He's almost triple the supply of, um, the Terran is almost triple the supply of the Zerg. It looks like Pink will be trying to do some Ling run buys in order to harass the uh, Terran player possibly. Nope, he is, uh, whoa, those Lings are very confused actually. Yeah, and the fourth goes down for the Zerg player. He's on one base, and unfortunately for him, the only one base he's on is his main. And he's building a Baneling Nest. He has a lot banked with minerals and gas, but the Terran has twice of that banked and a way bigger army. Um, he's still 2-2. Two -two. Oh, wait, three. I just three, three attacks just completed, or...? Yep. And it looks like... Uh these Zerg player will be trying to make some Zerglings here, but uh, uh, does not look like Pink will be able to recover as his final base will get taken down. That is game. There should be a GG at any moment. But no, it looks like Pink is rebuilding a hatchery and will be making a last stand here at the Alamo. Yeah, um, this is what we call late GG timing. And uh, yeah, Oh, it looks like Bailings are coming in. Bailings are coming in. Oh, Bailings getting melted. And there is the GG. Quite a little late, but uh, nevertheless, a GG indeed. Oh. It, it, it's really funny you look at that game you, you know you sit back and you think about it and you, you take a look back at the game if that roach ling push would have worked the Terran would have been on one base and the zerg would have probably expanded to three so I have a lot of my games in when I play where you know uh, it's basically the that that early game attack with whatever units like lings roaches and banelings that is usually of, of what it consists of if it works I pretty much lose the game but if I can hold it, I almost win all the time. So, so, so basically, um, the Zerg player got pretty far behind with uh, with that attack, and uh, yeah. it costed him the game. Yeah, it's basically an all in unless you're a top tier Korean. All right. Well, um, I am Sharbeyes, and I'm Orc, and we are signing off.